Quick kick out of the congestion came from Delaney. Bouncing ball to half forward. Is it a throw? It is deemed a throw. It'll come back to the Tigers. Burton good in defence. Spots a man out wide. And Miller turns it over. Curtin down to 20 seconds. And so a long ball, the best option. He obliges with a left foot kick. Two on one on his faculties, if I could put it that way. Yeah. Well, that kick seems to be seems to have all his faculties. Big kick for Claremont, relieving the pressure. Out to Greenaway. A lovely pass. A nice good spoil there by Verbruggen. Oh, but steering clear of the pack there is Curtin. Just puts it nicely out in front of Matthews. Ball. The pressure here, working hard. O'Sullivan had a teammate alongside. It was Curtin. Just did a proper ball retreats. WA bring it towards Matthews at halfback. That was Riley Hardiman making sure that no damage was done. Edwards. Daniel Curtin, known primarily as a defender, swings it around and shows that he can do it at both ends. Had a bit too much juice on it. Another turnover though by WA. Metro's pressure is hot, but Curtin is a lovely kick. He clears danger. A lovely shark there from Hotton. Taken away though by WA and Curtin. It was WA's best play. Curtin just sitting behind things there and hits up a target. Good one, Skir. So now Curtin can send them forward. He's got a nice one-on-one -on -one in the hot spots and he finds Jasper Peace. And of course, Dan Curtin can go down there when they need him as well. Here he is. Curtin launches one forward. Van Royen look for the body early. And, and allows a safe passage out of defence. England hands it to Curtin. Inside 50s, 9-2 for the quarter in these free rows. And as a result of the fumble, Curtin now has the football, takes off, has a bounce. Goes down the wing. Beautiful pass. Picked up by Maybarn. Gets it to Luzi. Luzi got it in turn to Curtin. Curtin nicely navigated the track. Miles gathers. Handball was a dangerous one, but it's brilliantly gathered in the end by Curtin. Spots up to Lacey. That's a good kick. But no mark taken. Play on is the call. And Davis will... Only Curtin swings the ball to... Tim in def defence. Uh, out of the midfield and they've lost their, their ball movement and, and they're not looking as dangerous as what they have. For his Perth this quarter. Maxwell and Raw go at it. Neither can get the ruck knock. Well picked up here from Cassidy. Tries to get the handball out but Ango forces the turnover here for Claremont. Curtin picks it up, races towards full forward. Beautiful pass. Up in the ruck, Raw strong, gets it down. Beautiful ruck knock down to Curtin and he weaves his way through a pack. I'm not sure how we got through about four or five players. Absolutely. Clever work by Curtin, knocking it forward. It's a push out by Raw. Legal. Curtin. Assess. And then Ruckman set themselves. Raw. Curtin. Did so well. Any relation there, although I'm happy to be proven wrong. Kick goes forwards towards Angove. He gets it out the back of the pack. Towards Taylor. No, sorry, that's Lindbergh again following up his own work. Tackled the ground and holding the ball. Brilliant tack from Daniel Curtin. Pushed the ball out and a nice clearing kick there from Callanan towards the middle position. Great attack, though, from Curtin. Good spoil on the football. Weckett started this game not bad. That's a strong tackle late. Come back inside 50. Good strong spoil on the footy there. That centre half back there for West Australia. Weckett. Big opportunity for oh. the crow. It is strong team tackle there, Ooh. Curtin. Back in the centre now. Kick smothered. And through the traffic once again. Go you start to look at things like his height. The height never stops anyone. Boomer Harvey told us that many, many years ago. If you're good enough, you're bigger. Johnston was involved, but couldn't quite get it away cleanly. Curtin pounces on the ball. Kicks to half four. Big one on one here. Sandringham suggests that about you. you. You set high standards for all the players in your group and you're going to get the very best. This one lands with Curtin, who's coming straight out of that contest. Sends some forward. It sits up nicely. Done some good things across half back. Peace still on the right. Curtin sent his man into the wrong postcode. Now. Community Bank Oval. That would be uh, that would be a bridge too far. Curtin. 
The young man on debut struck the tackle. The kick was a little awkward. He's just going to thump it long. And down he goes, long down the line. They stand underneath it. Ball goes to ground. Picked up by Pastra. Gets a handball out to Elliott. Dishes it to Curtin. Curtin's handball intercepted. Good follow up by the. Goes back inside, and they're attacking here early. Swan Districts, they're turning on the Jets. Grabbed out. Sinclair couldn't trap it in the half volley. Delamata, well played by Delamata. Sinclair under pressure, mowed down Six by. And five runners up since 2011. Here's Curtin on the breakaway. The clearances and they're getting their dominance out of the midfield through Zane Zakoselski. Curtin, really good tackle. Ruckman go at it. Curtin, as always, at the fall of the ball. Carball. And now they're forced to just go a little bit slower up the ground. To Rogers. Inside 50. Walter. Well done by Curtin in the end. He's on. Walter wants it deep, but Curtin was in front, playing off his man. There's Marshall, the sidestep, the kick to Walter, take two. Oh, good courage, going back with the flight. But he's getting a go, and he's making a good fist of it. As Curtin cuts off that attacking opportunity. Kick the first goal of the night. Inside 50, not enough on it for Harley. Come to naught in the end as... Free kick taken by Dawson, but Smith, but only as far as Laylor, who just hacks it high. Reed has to sit underneath it. Curtin, though, wins out. He's a powerful kick. He reads the cues very well. The ball's coming into the forward line. And also push up and play through the midfield. Curtin with the intercept mark. Lost his footing. Snapped inside 50. Found Metro. King. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. That's a terrific pluck from Dan Curtin. Mazak Kelly takes a running bounce coming out from the goal square. The Sharks, the left foot kick was shallow. Leg not all that happy. Curtin chops it off. Got to go here on the counter attack. They've got the whole 50. Just call your boy hand to Hancock. Banfield on 50. Let's fly with the left foot to the hot spot, but standing. Ball out the back to Clark. Stevens. Down the line, but a nice Kemp. Kemp can have a shot now. Tells the boys to come at him. Popped a bump after the kick. It falls into the goal square. Taken by Dan Curtin. Goes short. Seat throw. Handball outside. McLaughlin looking for a man. Found him. Released onto the outer side wing. And spots up Howard. Howard's kick towards half forward. Clemens. Scott on the end of it. Goes for a kick to the top of the goal square. Running back with the flight. Curtin. Going long. For a one-on-one -on -one contest here, good job by Curtin, just edges out, Walters takes the mark uncontested. Left foot long, inside 50, Borchett pushes his opponent forward, but the mark taken by Curtin. With far more tackles, that's because Claremont have had more of the football, but the Tigers are making their tackles count, and this man's... Just over three minutes remaining before three-quarter time, Curtin the target comfortably takes the mark. I don't, at least the umpire had a harder decision than by hand passing it over the boundary line. So I understand the theory behind it, but there's Curtin with the lovely sidestep as well. <laughs> yeah, he's... Um, I think he's a really solid defender, so uh, looking forward to seeing what he can produce for the rest of his national champs. Here he is on cue. It's sloppy, but Tholstrup comes up to meet it. Keeping it in play with great class there was Van Royen. Curtin has it on half back now for WA. Side steps around the would be tackler and then goes down the line. Two or one on one here. Good. Sprint for that footy and then got nailed. Little palm down towards Curtin. Steps through traffic. Takes on the man on the mark in O'Sullivan and does it beautifully. Gains territory by foot. Up Pounced on by Sanchez. Handball was good to Curtin. Big moment coming up for Dan Curtin. What a feign. What a kick. Hits the post. Mm. Riley DeSisto. Latching onto it. Van Royen. And now to Curtin, who slid forward. And he sees an open goal and he takes it. That next level now from contact. Dan. Lindbergh's hurt there. Good stuff, Matthews. All legal. Curtin. Now they're going to link up by hand. They've got some space too. Curtin. Breaks past the numbers, lays one up inside 50. Husa not quite as much, they'll turn it over. Curtin, just with the one mitt, then has a good look at things and finds a teammate on the outside. As a result, the kick was affected, Miles. Curtin, the sidestep, 
We're watching something walk up. Don't mind the idea. Curtin. Let's see what he's got in this situation. Running laterally and then finishing beautifully to Elliot. Henry who kicks along inside the 50. Waiting down there was a jag. Brilliantly robed at the back by Curtin. Curtin with the left foot. It's high towards 2023. The first under Peter German. Lemont taking the ball out wide. Curtin kept his feet brilliantly. Wearing Sweet. was involved. The hand pass missed the target. Now Curtin. Shrugged to tackle. Laser. The Tigers can't afford to give up any more goals in this third term at all. As oh. Curtin draws, the opponent almost draws his teammate into danger, but eventually he kicks the ball up towards Carter. Who... And does this though? Curtin tackle. Oh, he ducked his head, did he? No, he's going to be given a free kick. So umpires let the big man just cruise to centre half forward. Inside 50, Scoville halves the contest with Van Royen. Little help comes from Paul at the back. Knocked down by Davis, but Perth able to retrieve it. That was fine.